this very special day, I just want to go through a little. I, I was there that Sikha at Chof Ches Nissen, Tovshinun Aleph. I was standing on the bench, I nearly fell off the bench. And it's a very, very special day. Some people, uh, I, I hear people saying it's a sad day that ever gave us a job. We didn't do it. What did we do? It's a very special day. We know by Chsidim, Vayomim Ho'elu Niskorim Venasim. When a thing happens, it happens again. It's a newness in Iskoyach of the Rebbe, this Shabbos, that we should be the ones that should bring Mashiach in this world between us and, and to the entire world. It's not a sad day. It's a very, very uplifting and empowering day. I remember the, the, when the Rebbe said the Sikhah, it was like a, a bolt of lightning. It was a very, very powerful, empowering message. We didn't know what to do. I remember we were up a whole night in 770 trying to think, what can we do that the Rebbe didn't do? And everyone's coming up with different ideas. It was a very, very, very interesting night. We were up till five, six in the morning trying to figure out different ideas, different fabrication. And just to recall a, a, a couple of stories, Rabbi Chaim Gutnik from Australia wrote to the Rebbe one, a wonderful letter. What does the Rebbe want? And the Rebbe said to learn in Yoni Gula Moshiach. Other people asked the Rebbe and the Rebbe said to them, and they told the Rebbe, please don't give it to us. Take it back, the job. We can't do it. And the Rebbe says, you say I'm a Rebbe. This is also by dollars. And if you say I'm a Rebbe, I'm saying it's up to you and it's up to you. I'm, I'm telling you what to do. And Rebbe tells you what to do. But it was a very, very empowering moment. And I'm sure that this year, this empowerment becomes stronger. I remember Rabbi Eliezer, we're born in 770. Rabbi Eliezer wrote to the Rebbe, what should we do with our Bati Chabad? Should we close the Bati Chabad and just do Mashiach? What's the new avoid? What, what do we need to do? And the Rebbe told them, do everything that you're doing. But the shah to everything that you're doing is Mashiach. Meaning, you do everything but with a sense of urgency. Knowing that what you do is important and valuable. And, and it's so, so important that the goal of the entire world depends on what you do and how you do it. This is very empowering. The Rebbe says, when you do something, you have a bunch of tasks to do. It could get tiring, it could get overwhelming. But if you know that you're bringing world freedom and you're changing the entire world, so everything you do, you do with a banaita chayis, with a new life. You know that you, the Rebbe has empowered you today to change the entire world. And if I'm just just to go back on what Rabbi Mas says, the Lazayin Gezunt and Stark. If we would think before everything that we do, is this something that's going to bring Mashiach closer, or is this something Chaz Sholem? If we would think that, we would have a whole different approach to life. I'm, I don't want to say a whole different approach, meaning so much has been done. The devotion of Chassidim is amazing. But the Rebbe is giving us new chayas to go a little more, continue going with full strength, and to know that what we do is important. If there's the famous word of Anvas Nusei, Shalab Shayib and Afkulas, the Anova, his being humble is what destroyed the Beis Hamikdash. The Rebbe brought to the Valshemtiv that when a person says, What am I doing? Is it really important? Who really cares of my struggles? Who really cares about what I'm doing? That's what destroys the Beis Hamikdash. That's what doesn't let the Beis Hamikdash be rebuilt. And you don't know that the truth is that the Abister is standing and waiting for your word of Tehillis, the Tishboches, and whatever you do. 
So it's a very, very empowering day. And, and, and the Rebbe gets keiches from, from new to, to, to start living uplifted lives, to, to, to start living in a Guladika way and, and to, to focus on the important things in life and our purpose of creation and not get bogged down by Dvarim Shomabekav. And this is, it, it's a powerful, powerful day. I remember I was traveling on a plane. I was sitting next to a pastor. And he was telling me, what, what's he doing? What's, you know, he says he's involved with a massive, massive project. He wants to end slavery in the world because there's 40,000 slaves. And they, they, they make coffee, they make bananas. He's going to end slavery. They shoot the slaves. They make them work for nothing. And he was telling me his spiel. And then he turns to me, he says, what are you involved in? So I remember telling him, it was then right around, the, um, we were dealing with Mashiach. I'm involved in a project to free seven to eight billion people from slavery. Because this world is in a state of slavery, in a state of exile. And we went through the whole thing. He said, wow, that's, that's a lofty thing. But this is what the Rebbe gave us this responsibility and this amazing schus. The Rebbe shared with us in Purim Tavshim and Zayin, the Rebbe shared, he had a, the Rebbe had a, it was a fascinating fabrengen. It was the beginning of Chof Chesnissen. The Rebbe started asking that the Friedrich Rebbe said such amazing Lashenist, the Mashiach is coming, where is Mashiach? And the Rebbe was so intimate about his work to bring Mashiach, what he was thinking. And the Rebbe said, Zichirat menes ibri yem to the Rabbim. But the Rebbe, that means it's it, the achrais of every chos to bring Mashiach. But the Rebbe that Fabrengen spoke about why he does certain projects. He does Rambam because he thought maybe that's missing to bring Mashiach. He did Sheva Mitzvah Dei Neach because that will bring Mashiach. It was, it was an amazing Fabrengen. It was the beginning of Chof Ches Nisim, where the Rebbe gave it to us. It was a couple of years ago, I was approached by a very dear friend, wonderful shliach, a wonderful chosid, Rabbi Levi Kuhn from Malibu, California. And he said, listen, there's so much time has gone by and we have to do something to bring Mashiach. Would you be willing to be part of a minion that will get together at a conference call every week for an hour, people from all over the globe, to get together to try to figure out a way how to bring Mashiach. The Rebbe said in the minion that he has, the Rebbe said it could be 10 people will bring Mashiach. So we got together. I'll mention the names of the people on the conference call uh, without any particular order. Reb Chaim Nochum Kunin, the brother, Reb Zalma Marcus from Mission Vieyo, Danny, Rabbi Danny Cohen from Chevron, Rabbi Cantor from Thailand, Rabbi Yossi Mintz from Manhattan Beach, Rabbi Alta Tenenbaum from Irvine, Rabbi Tzvi Freeman from Chabad.org writing amazing, amazing stuff. Rabbi Yossi Lu, you should have it a full shlema. What a wonderful, wonderful yid. Never missed a takon, a, a day of saying Rambam from the beginning of takon of Toshim and Dalit. You're talking amazing people. Um, I don't know how I had the schus to be on the call with such, such body poyo. But we got together every day. Every Monday, at eight o'clock at night, it was a good good time for everyone for all the different time zones to think of ideas to bring Mashiach. And I remember Rabbi Yossi Lu, I'm mentioning him because he was uh, he should have it a full shleima first of all. What a what a what a fire for Mashiach. And 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 many wonderful ideas came out. He would make sure to prepare between us words to give to the, to the speakers to speak at the Kinos Thursday by lunch, what ideas we can, what people can do. And then there became a shturim that we should make 
other minyanim, and all over the world there was groups of people getting together, 10 people, to try to bring Mashiach. And then there was an idea that we should, just like we have different um, people in charge of different Mifzoim of the Rebbe, we should approach Merkis 302, that they should hire someone or hire a couple in the light to work on this special Mifzah. But it was it was an amazing koch. The year it was a very it was an uplifting year when you sit down for an hour to think how you could end the world, uh, the misery of Golos and the responsibility you have. It's it's it in itself is so uplifting. So this is what the Rebbe comes in this Chovkas Nissen lifts us all up. And I want to really thank so much Merkis three hundred two for putting together this amazing Fabrengen that we can together say speak and try to figure out how we can bring Mashiach. And, and this has to be, this is, the, this is our achrayas. We have so many other achrayas, but they're all, like the Rebbe said, the shah to bring Mashiach. So we do it with an, a different uh, tzugan, a different excitement and we are so so lucky we are so so lucky that our day is the day that's going to bring Mashiach we're going to make it happen with the amazing keiches we get from the Rebbe like it's explained in Agar Sakoides Simuch of Zion that after the Istalkos there's a greater it's a, from the Etzim Haoras Atzadi it's a much greater chayas we get from the Rebbe who gives us strength to our dear Yosem to be strong and to do what we can to bring Mashiach. Also from these minyonim, just to say, just, just to see how it's a grassroots effort. It can't, it's not, it, the, the Rebbe didn't want it to come il Milo. He wanted us to do it. There was a group of shluchim, a hundred shluchim that approached JLI to make a wonderful class on Mashiach. They made the classes and they're still making more classes. I, I gave one of the, there's an amazing class about Biito and Achisheno and all the, the Elioanovi. It, it really makes Mashiach a reality. But there's so many ideas. There's an idea now for Mercus 302, I think the next project. And I want to thank them for all their amazing work that they're doing. That we should learn certain sikhs of the Rebbe before Gimel Tamos that uh, bring to life the Indian of Mashiach, but it has to be, this is our, this is our, this is our Metzias, this is, this is all what we have to do, and this is what we're doing, we have to know that we are doing it. I remember when we had the, the amazing Simcha of Rabbi uh, Rubashkin, Shalmodchi Rubashkin, Tayri Yid, he taught the world and Muna and Bitochum. It was an amazing simcha. It was it was unbelievable a couple of days. And I sat with my uncle, Rabbi Naftoli Astul, and he should be gesund and start. And Rabbi Naftoli said, if for one Jew we make such a simcha and such a ishtadlis, and we turn over every rock, how much more so do we have to do it for Kal Yisrael? For the entire world, for all the Nishomis that lived from the beginning of time, and that Abishta took our day and said, You're a Voida. Just to, like the Rebbe told the CNN guy, the message to the world is to do acts of goodness and kindness and to be a little bigger than yourself and not be bogged down by Dvorim Shalmabekach, but to think big, to think universal. And to think how, how important our deeds are. That Ebisha should help us. That we should take inspiration from this day. And we should think of ideas. And, 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 and the Rebbe's Tsar. The Rebbe's Tsar on that day of Chof Nissen That repeats itself every year. And every year is starker and starker, stronger. The Rebbe says... And that's what we have to take strength from this Chofchas Nissen to shake ourselves, to detach ourselves from the small-minded Golos 
and think very big and think how important our good deeds are. So Lechaim zal der Ebishter helfen that we should take this very serious and it should bring a real change in our homes and in our life and our work and we should know that by, by doing what we're doing, everyone has their struggles that God blesses them with. But by doing the right thing, we're going to bring Mashiach. The Rebbe said that the, the bringing of Mashiach has to come from us. And the Rebbe said it has to come. is the toyu bekelim the tikkun. It can't come in a way, Mil Milo. They never did everything. They, we have to, they has, it has to come from us. There's a beautiful Sikha that Rebbe, the Rebbe asks, why did Aaron bring the Shkinah Lamato? Why not Meshe Rabbeinu? Meshe Emes, Mesirosi Emes. And the Rebbe explains because Moshiach has to come in the world and he has to come Dafke through Aaron, which Aaron Akeyen was the people's person. He was Shushvino de Matunisa. He made Sholem between man and wife. He, he, he got dirty with the people. He wasn't like Mason just bringing God's word to the people. He, he, he felt the people's pain. He was with the people. The Shechine could only come down through Ahad. It's very similar with the Rebbe saying that the Shechine, to bring down the Shechine Lamato, the purpose of our creation could only come through us. Through aid is that not aid is the tail just to break, but we should do it on our own initiative. Grass Valley uh, roots, grass valley, how they say it. Grass roots, sorry, grass roots. We are going to bring it, Lechayim, may Hashem help that we take strength from this day. And it's not a day to be down. Oh, the Rabbi gave us a job 30 years ago, I wasn't done. No, no, so much has been done. So much Mesiris Nefesh, so much devotion. We got to bring the job to the finish so that Abish turns helpful, that we're going to be Zeche. I'll just finish with an interesting Gemara. The Gemara says about the Yehoshaphat. There was Yehoshaphat, it's a Gemara Sanhedrin, the end of the 10th chapter. That Yehoshaphat was speaking, Yeshofat Melech Yehuda was speaking to Achav and he, and he asked him, should we go to war? So Achav brought him 400 Nevi'im and they told him, go to war, you'll be super successful. Now these Nevi'im, because Achav killed Noves Israeli, so the spirit of Noves went and told him false prophecy that he should go and really he was going to die. So Yehoshaphat Melech Yehuda told him, all these 400 prophets are false. So Achav tells him, hey, me now you look, how do you know they're all false? So he told him, Because I know for my father, for David Amelech, we have a Kabbalah that ain't Shnei Nevi'im is Nabi in the Signo Nechot. Anovi says, doesn't say the same words exactly. He says it in his own Sprach. So I know they're all false. He asked another Novi, he said, Achav, you're going to die. That's what happened. So what's the pshat? Why ain't Shnei Nevi'im is snabim the signal nechot? Because the Nevi'is comes because the Novi works on himself to receive it. So everyone prepares himself differently. So he gets the Nevua differently. It's not something that just that comes from Milo. We have to do something. Therefore, The Hachonef of Mashiach has to come from us. And we have to do it on our own, in our own unique way. And that's what will bring the goal of L'chaim, a wonderful night with Yom Tov.